It's all thrift store we, and donations. Members of West Lynn's Historical Society are cleaning up after an early morning break-in at this old firehouse. Never happened here before. <laughs> Danny Schreiber says the firehouse is where the Historical Society stores its costumes and props. He says among the items taken, this suitcase, a pair of costume overalls, and this vintage hairbrush. Got a call around 8 o'clock from West Lynn PD saying uh, we wanted you to come over to the station and ID some of your stuff. They have a suspect wearing some of our costumes. Police say that suspect, later identified as Roger Womack, seen here in an old booking photo, had a very busy night. It is unusual. Officer Jeff Halverson says the 33-year-old kicked off a two-hour crime spree by stealing a Mini Cooper from a home on Skyline Circle. From there, authorities say, Womack drove to West A Street, where he broke into several vehicles and rifled through them. Anything and everything you grab. I mean, we got a wallet out of one car uh, and a, wall, uh, a knife out of another. Uh, there was also a gun taken from one of the cars, and he had that on him. Quite the haul, but Womack wouldn't have it for long. Firefighters at Station 58 spotted Womack inside the old firehouse and alerted police. Officers found him walking down the street. The strangest thing was that he was wearing some of the clothes that belonged to the Historical Society uh, when he was arrested. So we, we got those back for them as well. Much appreciated by the folks at the Historical Society, who despite what happened, had this to say. We're a charity. We're, we're happy to help out. Um, as one of our members said, if he would have just asked for some clothes, we probably could have given him some. Now, it's worth noting, police say Roger Womack damaged one of their vehicles during his arrest, and that vehicle is now out of service. For his part tonight, Womack is facing a number of charges, including burglary, theft, and felon in possession of a firearm. Police are using this opportunity to remind people to lock up their cars and keep valuables out of them. Back to you. Thank you, Mike.